Australian captain Pat Cummins has indicated David Warner is set to stay in the test team until he retires in January following the home series against Pakistan. Warner, 36, finished the Ashes with an average of 28.50, with just two half-centuries across five tests versus England, while the likes of Matthew Renshaw and Cameron Bancroft are patiently waiting for an opportunity at the top of the order alongside Usman Khawaja. Cummins has suggested Warner has done enough to retain his spot despite widespread criticism of his play in the Ashes. Warner announced in June that he will walk away from the test arena in front of family and friends at the Sydney Cricket Ground. He also recently endorsed Renshaw as his ready-made replacement. Speaking after the fifth test at the Oval, Cummins said was impressed by Warner in the Ashes. There were times he looked really good, played some really important innings, he said. The thing about playing in England, you can get the conditions against you. He walked out sometimes under lights and clouds, and a 30 there is worth double. The partnership he put on with Usman, Kawaja during the fifth test, was fantastic. It was probably the story of the tour for him. So many moments where he felt like he got on top of the game and then England got themselves back into it. Aussie bowling great Glenn McGrath believes the vultures are circling when it comes to Warner's test future and he is probably feeling the pressure. Warner made his test debut in 2011 against New Zealand and at his peak was one of the most devastating players in world cricket. His influence has waned in recent years and whether he likes it or not, Warner's reputation will always be tainted following the Sandpaper Gate cheating scandal in 2018. Along with then-captain Steve Smith, Warner was banned for 12 months by Cricket Australia for bringing the sport into disrepute, after he orchestrated the use of sandpaper to alter the shape of the ball in Cape Town during a fiery series against South Africa.